For many of us, the COVID-19 pandemic has meant we have been living and working online more than ever. We visit the virtual office through Zoom, shop nearly exclusively online and interact with friends and family through a screen. What we are experiencing in this situation is a hint of what's to come. The Metaverse What is the Metaverse? The Metaverse is a collective virtual shared space, created by the convergence of enhanced virtual reality and physically persistent virtual space. This includes all of the virtual worlds, augmented reality, and the internet, seamlessly overlapping. An example of the emerging metaverse is a performer doing a live virtual performance in an online multiplayer game. The word metaverse is made up of the prefix meta, meaning beyond, and the stem, verse, which comes from universe. The term is typically used to describe the concept of a future iteration of the internet, made up of persistent, shared, 3D virtual spaces linked into a perceived virtual universe. The metaverse concept was made famous under another term, cyberspace, which first appeared in the short story, Burning Chrome, by William Gibson and was a central theme in his 1984 groundbreaking novel, Neuromancer. Since then, cyberspace has become a term synonymous with the internet. Metaverse, on the other hand, is the preferred term for the concept of a virtual shared space that converges with actual reality. Neil Stevenson first coined the term metaverse in the 1992 science fiction novel Snow Crash. In the book, humans, as avatars, interact with each other and software agents, in a three-dimensional space modeled onto the real world. Stevenson used the term metaverse to describe a future virtual reality-based successor to the internet. Some have referred to it as the spatial internet. Why is the metaverse important? According to Tim Sweeney, the CEO of Epic Games. This metaverse is going to be far more pervasive and powerful than anything else. If one central company gains control of this, they will become more powerful than any government and be a god on earth. Today you can only experience the internet when you go to it, but with new connectivity, devices and technologies, we'll be able to experience it all around us, all the time, every single day. Platforms such as Decentraland allow users to explore a virtual game world, which is created and owned by its users. Recently, one of the biggest names in the history of video games, Atari announced it planned to launch its own blockchain-based virtual world and would soon announce details. The recent NFT frenzy has raised the interest in blockchain-based metaverses. Art, virtual land, avatars and even screen names are bought and traded as NFTs. Many pundits suggest that the NFT phenomenon is just the tip of the iceberg. NFTs are non-fungible tokens, units of data stored in the blockchain digital ledger. Increasingly NFTs are used to represent assets such as photos, videos, audio and other digital files. A patch of land measuring 41,216 virtual square meters sold for $572,000 on April 11, which the platform said was a record. Decentraland has seen more than $50 million in total sales already in 2021, including land, avatars, usernames and wearables like virtual outfits. The real explosion will happen when users are able to figure out and they're able to experience these NFTs as they were intended. If it is a lot of virtual land, you want to move around in it, have an immersive experience in it said Anand Venkateswaran, aka Tubador, who runs the Metapurse Fund with Metacoven. Metacoven recently shocked the world with the purchase of a digital art piece called, Every Days, The First 5000 Days by the American artist, Beeple, at Christie's. Metacoven, whose real name is Veenge Sundarsan, plans to put the artwork on display in the metaverse. Cryptovoxels is another emerging player in the emerging metaverse economy. The platform is a virtual world powered by the Ethereum blockchain. In Cryptovoxels, players can buy land and build stores and art galleries. Metaverse supporters liken the rush to buy virtual land and artwork to the scramble for domain names in the early days of the internet. There are currently a few thousand unique landowners on each of the main blockchain-based platforms. Their theory is that as more people congregate in these environments, plots of land in central locations will be highly sought after because of the amount of visitor traffic. The COVID-19 pandemic also means that people have a place to go to view performances. For example in 2020 rapper Travis Scott drew an audience of 27.7 million visitors to five concerts within the game Fortnite. Leslie Shannon, Nokia's head of trend scouting, commented on the importance of the metaverse, in a recent talk during the VRARA's Global Summit. During her talk she stated that, the spatial internet is the culmination of everything that AR and VR is developing today. It's the idea of taking information about things, locations, or historical events and actually locating that information out there in the world where it's most relevant. The metaverse is important because it may be the next frontier for online interaction. Just like social media revolutionized the online marketing landscape, so too could the metaverse. There isn't one overall shared metaverse yet but many people are working on building it. 
Facebook's purchase of Oculus VR was partially the result of the drive to build the metaverse. The company is also deeply invested in the Horizon Virtual World meeting space, among many, many other projects, from augmented reality glasses and brain-to-machine communications. NVIDIA's chief executive Jensen Huang recently announced that his company is creating an artificial metaverse to simulate the future. Engineers and software programmers could simulate new software that will ultimately run in the physical version of the car, the physical version of the robot, the physical version of the airport, the physical version of the building, Huang said in an interview with Time magazine. NVIDIA is already using its Omniverse three-dimensional modeling software to recreate factories and machinery virtually. Similar to a large-scale video game, the software provides three-dimensional objects, people and real-world physics so companies can create digital versions of their factories and workplaces. Embedded artificial intelligence and machine learning also gives the software the capability to simulate actions, finding the most efficient process over time. According to David Bazakai, the CEO of Roblox, the metaverse is arguably as big a shift in online communication as the telephone or the internet. Within the next few decades its applications will exceed our wildest imaginations. Perhaps the greatest opportunity it presents is to bring together people from all walks of life and foster a civil digital society. In 2021, that new society will begin to emerge for real. Even if the metaverse falls short of the visions of science fiction, the impact on the economy and society could be as transformative as the internet. Although it is still somewhat of a conceptual framework, some of the key features of the metaverse can be projected. First of all, unlike the internet, the metaverse will be synchronous with real life, and will be engaged with many people in real time. The interactions will be persistent and affect the system. For instance even today in systems like Decentraland, the world is controlled and owned by users. The metaverse is not just a virtual world, it isn't a game, and it isn't an online experience it is an entirely new framework. The metaverse will also allow participation with a sense of presence, be this through an augmented or virtual reality interface, or using other technologies that span the physical and digital, and the public and private domains. As we already see through the current activity, the metaverse will also be a financial and economic system, creating value and markets of its own. As dominant frameworks emerge, standards of interoperability will also take hold, including those of the physical world. You may drive a Tesla in real life, and seamlessly interact with the digital version of your vehicle in the metaverse. There's going to be a metaverse, and it's not clear whether it's going to be an open platform, or even one platform, Facebook's vice president of special gaming initiatives, Jason Rubin said at the DICE Summit in February 2021. The metaverse also has the potential to be a field of incredible creativity. Content and experiences may be built from a wide range of contributors, some of whom are independent individuals, while others might be informally organized groups or commercially focused enterprises. Today's internet is a wide set of protocols, technology, tubes and languages, plus access devices and content and communication experiences. The metaverse will be too. Recently, award-winning artist Vivian Schwartz tweeted, Zoom sucks, we started having editorial meetings in Red Dead Redemption instead. While immersive, graphics-rich video games offer a glimpse of what the metaverse will be, our predictions are certainly going to be about as accurate as what we thought the internet would be like in the late 1980s. This will all require a lot of work and time to create. The technology that would allow for a fully immersive shared concurrent experience is not yet available. For example, in Fortnite's 2019 Marshmallow concert, 11 million viewers did attend, but the infrastructure supporting this concert meant that there were over 100,000 instances of the concert run not quite simultaneously. The promise of the metaverse requires innovation and investment to be realized. The hardware development is progressing, the software development is progressing, and most importantly, the demand for the metaverse is already at a critical mass. This month, Epic Games announced a billion-dollar funding round to support the company's long-term vision for the metaverse. At its current rate, Epic Games' flagship software, Fortnite is set to hit a billion users in just a few years. We are grateful to our new and existing investors who support our vision for Epic and the metaverse. Their investment will help accelerate our work around building connected social experiences in Fortnite, Rocket League and Fall Guys, while empowering game developers and creators with Unreal Engine, Epic Online Services and the Epic Games Store, said Tim Sweeney, CEO and founder, Epic Games. The metaverse is coming, and it will be here sooner than we think. Thank you to the Classic Masterworks channel for their support with this video. If you are interested in classic works of literature, history and music, be sure to check them out. What do you think the metaverse will become? Will it end the internet as we know it? Please let us know your thoughts in the comments. If you like this content, and would like to see more, please give us a like, and consider subscribing. See you next time.